Congress can't come to an agreement over college loans, and it will end up costing millions of students much more. Interest rates for subsidized student loans has now doubled. KITV Force Paul Drews has reaction from Hawaii students and schools in tonight's top story. Lindsay Ewing is a new graduate at Hawaii Pacific University, but along with her degree, she also has a student loan debt of nearly $20,000, which will take her years to pay off. That's the only thing. Yeah, just got to get through that, and then, then I'm done. Maybe like 10 years or more. Even with that debt, she's one of the lucky students who only has to pay an interest rate of 3.4% on that borrowed money. <laughs> students now taking out new student loans will be charged 6.8% in interest. Looking at a standard repayment plan of about 10 years, a student could see as much as $4,000 more in payments. Definitely going to make their monthly payment go up. At the University of Hawaii, Spencer Maha started racking up student loans during his time in grad school. He's got more to go, and that means more debt to repay for him and his growing family. As like a father and a husband now um, with a family, um, it's definitely uh, going to be a little bit more difficult, I think, with that loan now. Those higher rates could cut the number of full time students and force others to find alternate ways to pay for college. I think I'm going to have to just bite the bullet here. I mean, if anything, it'll probably make me look for more scholarships or things that I won't have to pay back, but it, it will definitely give me pause before taking more loans. Absolutely. Not only are some upset over the huge jump in rates, they're upset over who will have to pay more. These rates are going up for the students who can least afford it because these are the subsidized. Uh, loans and these loans go mostly to low income students, and we have many of those. And it's not just students worried about this big rise in interest rates. Definitely, we've had some students talk about it, but for a typical undergraduate student, it's their parents. You know, parents are involved in this decision, parents wishing we could lock in the lower interest rate, but unfortunately, we can't. Now, not only will school be more costly for those with student loans, the higher interest rates will also lower borrowing limits, which could also reduce the amount of school a student can afford. Yanji?